I know exactly what you are feeling right now. The pit in your stomach when you realize, oh shoot, all of my files are gone. Now, before you go and download the first data recovery tool that you see on Google, which please do not do that, let me show you how to get your files back without making things worse. Because believe me, making a wrong move now can turn a bad day into a potentially permanent nightmare. I will walk you through everything from how recovery actually works, including why some methods can backfire, the exact tools that I trust with my own files, plus all of the sneaky security risks that you are definitely going to want to avoid when you're trying to get your files back. Good news! Computers don't actually erase your data, they just wait until new files are written over them. It's like taking the table of contents out of a book. The chapters are still going to be there until somebody physically scribbles everything out and writes new stuff over the top of it. Now, this is why security experts, hello there, are often talking about things like permanent deletion and disk wiping. But today, this little quirk of computing actually works in our favor. Before we dive into solutions, we need to know what we're dealing with. Now, there are three main kinds of data loss. There's logical deletion, which includes accidentally deleting files or formatting a hard drive. There is corruption, which is uh, something like file system errors or interrupted operations. And then there's just physical damage. That's drive failures or, or physical trauma to the drive itself. Now, the first two totally recoverable with the right software, physical damage, that is when you need to get a professional involved because believe me, no amount of software is going to be able to fix a hard drive that sounds like a blender full of marbles. After testing dozens of recovery tools, here are the four that can give you your life back. And I've even arranged special discounts for the best ones that you'll find linked in the description below. If you are in a stressful situation while watching this video, I want to cut to the chase right now on why I think Disk Drill takes the crown. Short answer, I've used it. And it worked. Last year, Disk Drill saved me from what could have been an absolute disaster. Just picture this. I have spent an entire day taking photos at a restaurant for a client. And they're looking really good. And I'm very happy with them. And I get home and I start transferring them on my laptop. And midway through, it's just gone. Hundreds of photos. Whew. So I panicked. I did some very quick research. I paid for disk drill a little bit quicker than I would like to admit. And three hours later, after sitting and staring at a progress bar like my life depended on it, all of my photos were back. It saved my butt that day and I have kept it firmly in my back pocket ever since. At $89 currently for a lifetime license, Disk Drill is actually a fairly decent deal considering you get the data loss recovery, but you also get data loss prevention. They have a tool that they call the Recovery Vault, which is essentially like a safety net for your files. They keep track of deleted files before you need to recover them. Think of it as like having like a time machine for your files. They, they cover more than 400 file types and they work with virtually every storage device. And Mac users, listen up. If your external hard drive ghosts you after an improper ejection, Disk Drill can still detect it even if Mac OS refuses to. So here's the bottom line. Disk Drill is my top pick for data recovery, but it's not the only player in the game. There are plenty of other services that claim to recover lost files. But do they deliver on the goods? Let's take a look and see how some of these contenders stack up. First, Ease Us Data Recovery. Now, Ease Us has been around for forever in terms of software years, and they've earned themselves a good reputation. Here's what I like about them. Their write protection is enabled by default, which helps prevent accidental overwrites, uh, and they offer an emergency cover recovery options that work even when Windows refuses to boot. The dashboard is clean and intuitive. You can filter by file type. You can even preview files before you recover them. And, and it's all just very clean and simple to use so you can do it yourself without feeling like you have to call your one techie friend. Now, on to pricing, they offer a free version which allows you to recover up to 500 megabytes, which is great for, for testing or for small recoveries, but let's be real, that's about one smartphone video at this point. So, for serious recoveries, you're looking at $70 a month, $100 a year, or $150 for a lifetime license with updates. I wanted to include our studio in this video for the more tech savvy viewers that we have. So this is a powerful product, but the catch is 
Its dashboard looks like mission control. We're talking file type selection, uh, adjustable scan depth, partition focused scanning, and, and about a dozen other settings that'll make a beginner's head spin. It's like they took every possible recovery option and they said, yes, and we're gonna put them all on the home page. No sub menus. What are we, a Jimmy John's? We don't need sub menus. Put it all on the home page. One thing right there. Our studio's pricing is also interesting. The Windows version starts at $80, and then it scales up pretty quickly depending on what you need. That could mean, you know, $180 for network support to up to $900 for a full technician's license. Now that made me wince at first too, but here's the thing. It's a powerful enough tool to handle some pretty unique and convoluted complex recovery scenarios. So if you're an IT pro working on enterprise systems, it's an incredibly useful tool to have. So is that price inherently a bad thing? No, not if you know what you're doing. You know who you are. You, you know, if you're comfortable tweaking technical settings and, and you understand terms like partition table recovery, this is an incredibly powerful tool to have in your back pocket. Look, at the end of the day, Disk Drill is my top pick because it strikes that balance between powerful features and actually being usable for most people. Plus, it has that Recovery Vault feature, which acts as essentially an insurance policy for when you inevitably screw up later on. Believe me, we all have those times. Of course, the best data recovery strategy is having backups for all of your files, but you know, that's not how the world works. There's always going to be a time when things go wrong, and in those cases, at least you now know how to recover your files without making things worse. Now, remember, I have exclusive discount links for all of the services that we've talked about in the description below. Feel free to save yourself some money while also supporting the channel. We greatly appreciate it. Do you have a data recovery story to share? Please drop it in the comments. I always like to know that I am not alone in the fact that one time I had to tell my boss that, hey, I reformatted the wrong hard drive, but let me tell you why that was a learning experience. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Subscribe if you like these videos, and we'll see you in the next one.